This is Britain. It is for the British people with the intent of its identity, culture and belonging. The projections about the number of East European immigrants to this country were nonsense. Instead of official estimates of a few thousand a year, today the Home Office put the figure at a precise 427,095. In 1954, about 10,000 West Indians came to Britain. In 1955, it is believed another 15,000 will make the long journey. Already their coming has caused a national controversy. But one point must always be borne in mind. This is the human reality behind the immigration story. Politicians talk tough on the issue, but this queue of immigrants waiting for food in Calais shows the true extent of the problem. Keep Britain. Britain. Keep it white as it should be. We feel we're being outnumbered, and the policy of this country now is to integrate. Which phone? Oh, here it is. This one here. Why are they yep. late? You know, at the same time every day. Yeah, I know, but lately they've been having checkpoints all over central London. What checkpoints? You mean stopping and searching? Stopping and searching people, and it's spreading throughout this area too. I do. I have come yeah. some snack money. Oh, snap money, yeah, it's okay. Hold She's on. been given this letter. We need to take, give her her birth certificate to take to school. Birth certificate? What do you mean birth certificate? Not even our kids are exempt from this now. You know what? I think it's best if you take it in yourself. Okay, listen, I gotta move, all right? I'll see you guys later. Bye. Bye. because we are the true voice of the people of this country. Yes! Yes, Lenny! People who worked hard, pay their way, don't matter what their ethnic background is, are welcome with open arms in this country. It's the people who think we owe them a living. Yes. These are the people that need to go back. Yes! King on the battlefield once said, Jonathan, I need to speak to you now. The world, only when it shall be remembered. We Jonathan, I've been given information about your, your place of birth. You wasn't actually born in England. Now, if you follow through with this bill that you're proposing, you're going to be deported yourself. What are you talking about? Where did you get in a late-night Commons vote, the government avoided an embarrassing defeat in the ratification of the new immigration bill. Failure would have meant months of lobbying by cross-party backbenchers, meaning nothing but a paper exercise. This now means anyone not born in the UK must be means-tested in order to remain here. I'm here with Jonathan Molsey, the newly appointed Minister for Immigration. Jonathan. This is a great day for England. Yes, England. For decades, we've played second fiddle to Europe and recently to Scotland and Wales. We've lost our identity. Our indigenous population is being diluted and made to feel second class. Well, today, we put an end to that. In the words of great Enoch Powell, I can already hear the chorus of execration. How dare I say such a horrible thing? It's getting worse every freaking day. Do you know, only yesterday, two guys got dragged out of class by immigration officers. What? They came into college? Yep, and the worst thing about it is administration stood by nothing. For what reason? Do they need a reason? People are being deported left, right and centre. No one is safe. Look, we're holding a meeting tomorrow. Why don't you come along? We could do with your help. Don't give me that look. You know the state of play we're in. You even said so yourself. Students being dragged out of college. Come on, Adam, what more will it take for you to act? Till they come knocking at your door? Oh, I see. It doesn't affect you. What's that supposed to mean? What can I do? This country's turning into Nazi Germany. And that's it! Look, I need to get off here. This ain't your stop. I know. I've been alternating my routes lately. What are you, some Secret Service spy now? Alternating routes. <laughs> Thank you.
Where are you? Keep walking. Green car, about 20 meters ahead. We set. We're good to go. Is he coming? He'll be there. How can he be so sure? He'll have no choice but to be. Hey, just hold on a minute. Right, now look. No passports, no ID, not coming in. Those are the rules. That's just how it is. You need proper documents or you ain't coming in. What's going on? They're checking IDs of everyone entering. Yeah, that's normal. Well, if you don't meet the criteria on the database, you get put in a van, back on the plane, back home, deported. That's it. <laughs> that's deported? What that's what they do. No. That's what, I, that's what happened. You're not serious. Nah, man. Hello? Hi, hello, Adam. Hi, sis. How are you? Yeah, I'm fine. I don't know about everybody else, though. Why? What's up? It's like they're picking on everybody that is foreign. Now it seems to be, like, guilty by the colour of your skin. What? How's Tajan and the kids? Are they all fine, thank you? The kids just coming from school now. What's that noise? Oh. Hang on, there's a knock at the door. Are you expecting anybody? No, I'm not. No, don't open the door. All right. Don't open the door. Where's your mother? Under the Immigration and Asylum Act no, 2009, you and your family have been marked for deportation. Please leave the premises immediately. Come on, you're going out. No. Come on. Come on. Where are you? I'm at your stupid meeting point. Adam. Where the hell are you? Whoa, 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 calm down. What's up? They've taken my sister. Where the hell are you? I'm over here. I know you know where they take them, Sophie. Where are they? Adam, I want you to come and meet someone. I want you to meet I'm not here for your stupid meeting. I need your help. Adam, trust me. Come inside. This way. Sit down, Adam. Don't worry, he's one of us. He's here to give us all the information that we need to put an end to all of this. This is bullshit. You said you could help me find my sister. I'm not here to join your resistance, whatever you want to call it. Take a look around you, Adam. This is what we're reduced to, hiding out in desolate buildings. Our friends and our families being rounded up out there and then deported. This is only the beginning. If we don't do something about it now, we are screwed. Fuck you. You said you'd help me find my sister. I'll find her myself. Just listen to what he's got to say. Move out the way before I drop you. Tim, tell him. I don't think he's ready. Look for Pete's sake, Tim, tell him. Look, Jonathan wasn't born here. 